you'll find papaya enzyme, papain, in papayas and in a number of dietary supplements. Not only does it enhance digestion and lower inflammation, but it may also help fight infections and improve wound healing. Keep reading to learn about its health benefits, dosage, and side effects. What is papain? Definition. Papain is a digestive enzyme naturally found in papaya, Carica papaya. It is a protease, an enzyme that breaks down proteins into amino acids, which aids digestion. Thanks to its protein-degrading action, papain is also often used as a meat tenderizer. Papain is extracted from papaya latex, a milky fluid that oozes from the fruit, stem, and leaves of the plant. The fruit is the richest in it, the more unripe the papaya, the more active the papain. People have long known about the papaya enzyme, using it to improve digestion and to lower pain, swelling, and inflammation. Papain can reduce bloating, gas, and diarrhea. According to recent research, it may also combat inflammation and infections. You can get papaya enzyme by eating papayas, but you would need to eat plenty of mostly unripe fruits. You can spot unripe papayas by the green color of their skin. Alternatively, various papayan supplements are widely available. What does it do? Overall, the papaya enzyme or papayan digests proteins, freeing amino acids the gut can absorb. Next, it blocks the growth of harmful gut bacteria, maintaining a healthy microbiome. Plus, it degrades gliadin, a component of gluten that causes problems in people with celiac disease. Papain is also an antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. As such, it can neutralize excess free radicals that can build up and contribute to a number of chronic diseases. Snapshot. Here is an overview of the health benefits and risks of papaya enzyme. Proponents. May improves digestion. May speed up wound healing. May lower oxidative stress and inflammation. May help with infections and sore throat. May reduce pain and muscle soreness. May support dental health. May protect the brain. May reduce shingle symptoms. Skeptics. Insufficient evidence for some benefits. Mild side effects such as stomach pain. Possible allergic reactions. Likely unsafe for pregnant women. Possible drug interactions. Health benefits. Get the regimen of a top biohacker preparing his body to fight coronavirus. Joe Cohen is well known for his work as a successful entrepreneur in the health field after he overcame his many health issues using a personalized regimen. Find out exactly which supplements he takes and what lifestyle changes Joe has made to maintain optimal health and prepare his body to fight off infections. Possibly effective. 1. Improving digestion. Overall, the papaya enzyme enhances digestion by breaking down proteins into amino acids, which helps the body absorb nutrients. Therefore, it can improve symptoms in people with various digestive disorders. Celiac disease. Papain can break down parts of gliadin, a component of gluten. As such, it has the potential to help people with celiac disease. In three people with celiac disease, papain supplements improved nutrient absorption and reduced loose stools. Indigestion and heartburn. In a clinical study of 200 people with indigestion, papain reduced stomach inflammation. Compared to the placebo, it relieved symptoms such as stomach pain, vomiting, nausea, heartburn, burping, and bloating. IBS. In two clinical studies of over 150 people in total, either with constipation-dominant IBS or chronic stomach inflammation, gastritis, papaya enzyme improved symptoms such as constipation, bloating, painful bowel movements, flatulence, and stomach pain, while reducing inflammation. Papaya enzyme can also block the growth of harmful gut bacteria that cause IBS and other stomach and gut disorders. Stomach ulcers. Papain also decreased stomach acidity and ulcer size in rats with stomach ulcers. All in all, 
The evidence suggests that papain may help with digestive issues such as indigestion, IBS, and stomach inflammation. You may discuss with your doctor if it may help as an add-on to your treatment regime. Importantly, never use papain as a replacement for what your doctor recommends or prescribes. 2. Wound Healing In multiple clinical studies with over 350 people and 30 children, papaya enzyme applied to the skin sped up the healing of skin ulcers or burns. It reduced wound size, removed damaged tissue, accelerated wound closure, and shortened the hospital stay. It worked better than collagenase, hydrogen peroxide dressing, or placebo. In animal and cell-based studies, topical papain removed dead cells and tissue, stimulated wound healing, and decreased scarring and inflammation. And aside from helping new tissue form, it may also prevent bacterial infection. Again, the existing evidence backs the use of papain for wound healing. You may use it for this purpose if your doctor determines that it may be helpful in your case. 3. Inflammation and Oxidative Stress In three clinical studies with over 250 people, papaya enzyme lowered gut and stomach inflammation and improved symptoms such as nausea, stomach pain, and constipation. A combination of papain with other enzymes, bromelain, trypsin, and chymotrypsin, decreased high TGF beta levels, thus lowering inflammation in 130 people. In rats, papain lowered inflammation as good as the NSAID indomethacin. What is more, papaya enzyme increased regulatory T cells, which can fight inflammation and normalize the immune response. It also lowered inflammatory cytokines, TNF, IL-8, IL-6, in human cells. Although a bit limited, the evidence suggests that papain reduces inflammation. Further clinical research is needed to determine how to use it therapeutically for inflammatory issues. Its potential antioxidant activity requires validation in clinical studies.